know, there have been a lot of good memories, I think. You know, our, our win in the first round of the national tournament last year was, was pretty memorable because it was my first national tournament game as a head coach. But more importantly, it was our Briarcliff's first win at the national tournament in over a decade. And it was such a good group of guys that we had last year, uh, a good group of seniors. And I was just so happy for those guys. I remember the feeling walking off the court, uh, feeling so happy for our guys, and especially our seniors. And that was, uh, that might be my favorite. Uh, my coaching style, you know, I, I really try to mix um, being demanding and pushing the guys, but at the same time, you know, having fun with them and, and trying to find that balance of, you know, not being too hard on them, but not being too easy on them. And that's a, that's a hard balance. I really think it's important as a coach to, for you to have a relationship with your guys, just to talk, be able to talk about things away from basketball. And uh, I think if you establish good relationships with guys, they'll work a lot harder for you. My expectations for this season, I think our guys, you know, I think we'll work really hard. I think we've got good leadership. Uh, we, we've got some, some talented players returning and, and a good group of newcomers. I think we'll be very competitive in the conference. Uh, it's going to be tough. I think our, our the conference in men's basketball this year will be as tough as it's ever been since I've been at Ryer Cliff. Uh, the, the two teams that finished ahead of us in the conference are are better, and the teams that finished behind us, there's a number of them that are going to be better. So it's going to be very competitive. So while I might think we're going to be good, uh, you know, it's going to be a challenge. I think. Uh, uh, you know, I hope we're a team that, like last year, just keeps getting better as the year goes on, and then we'll see how that shakes out in, in February and March. We've got five freshmen who were first team all state um, in their in their states and classes last year, so it's a talented group. And, and there's a couple other guys in that class that I think are are going to be potentially really good players. I, you know, I always hope for freshmen in our program that they don't have to come in and have a big role. That hopefully they can, you know, work into their role and and. You know, there's just so much that they've got to learn and so much they've got to get better at. But at the same time, there might be a couple of them that are, that do have roles this year. Uh, we've also got a transfer uh, from a, a community college in California, Evan Watkins, who I think has got a chance to have an impact on our team. Um, and then we've got Corey Holloman, who's returning to our team, uh, who was on it a few years back, and, and we think he can impact us too. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not a guy that sit, is going to sit here and, get overly excited about these newcomers because they've got to prove it. You know, our, our returners have proven it. Um, and so now it's up to these guys to come in and they've got to prove themselves. Um, and then I'd say I think we've got a group of junior, or sophomores who I think will take a big leap. And typically in our program, guys make their biggest jump from their freshman to sophomore year. I think a guy like Zach Odding is significantly improved from where he was last year. Turner Fay is healthy and looks really good. I think Ricky Torres is a lot stronger. And so those guys, you know, it's my hope that they're going to, you know, really increase uh, their level of production from what they did as freshmen. I think we're, I think we're a lot more offensively talented. I think we're, I think we're deeper and a lot more gifted offensively. Uh, my concern is, if I've got a concern, is the other side of the basketball. Our team last year was outstanding defensively, and a big part of that was because of our four seniors: Ben Sitzman, Eric Roy, Brenton Brown, and Tim Lone we're all very, very good defenders, and those guys are all gone. And so we've talked to the guys a lot since then, you know, yeah, we might be able to score more, and, you know, I think we've got that, but who's going to replace those guys? Who's going to be, you know, replace the toughness and the defensive intensity that those guys brought? Uh, I think we've got really good leadership. I think we've got outstanding team chemistry. I love the culture of our team uh, and the guys on it. Um, so it's really a matter of, you know, are we gonna? Who's gonna be our tough guys? Who's gonna be our defenders? That's what we gotta find out, you know, in these early season practices.